Hi, my name is Dan Spetkos and I'm a trainer uh, here at uh, Durham Region uh, for DRT Voyable Trans Death. Well, in my previous life, I worked for the Toronto Transit Commission. I drove a bus and a train for 34 years with them. I've also coached uh, many young uh, children, adults, and teenagers. And I think my uh, coaching ability and my uh, ability to communicate fits in uh, very nicely with my position here uh, as a trainer with Boyle. Well, for safety reasons, obviously, we can't have a wheelchair or and or other mobility device put into our vehicle and not have it properly secured uh, with our uh, Q strains and or uh, making sure that the brakes are on or the mechanical equipment and the manual equipment. Next to the securement, they are the most important thing. Uh, all brakes must be functioning before they uh, come onto our vehicles. If their brakes do not work, they do not ride with us. The safety is paramount with us here at uh, Voyable Transdev. Well, basically, uh, a fully secure device, we have to use five securement features. The four cue balls, cue strings, and the lap belt. Uh, when, we do, when we do an empty, uh, chair or a device, basically making sure that the brakes are on, uh, the, the unit is powered off, uh, we don't have to use the lap belt on that. We ask our customer, we ask our customer to secure the brakes so there's no movement of the wheelchair while we're doing our securements. You will add your first securement here. Slide, turn, red button up. This would be the most solid place to put this securement. On the other side, with the Q, with the Q uh, securement, with a nice straight line. While I'm at the back, I will do the back one here as well. Again, place flat, lay down, and at the solder joint. You will see right here at the solid joint, that would be the strongest part of the wheelchair. And again, at the solid point on the joint. And making our last securement, we will place it flat, run it up, turn it in, and again, to the strongest point, this would be the strongest point on this particular wheelchair. At no times uh, do we get, do we secure these between our customers' legs for obvious reasons. Okay, now the last securement we do is the seatbelt. It should be straight out and make sure that when it's pointing in the correct direction. If you put it this way, your, your belt's gonna be upside down when you're trying to do the securement. So let's ensure that we point it facing out. So we clip that in, this spot there. We try to bring the customer around this way. We then pull lots. We ask our customer to put their arm through. Now they can do the securement themselves. Okay, so they're ensuring that the belt is over the shoulder and in the midsection of the client, this would be considered a good securement. You can adjust the belt, like I said, it starts with an open belt and you can retract it to make the situation fit in the midsection here. If you hear clicking on the seat belt, if it moves, that's normal and we like to hear clicking, that means it's being secured. These are self-tightening cue strings. That would be a good securement. It's, this chair is not going anywhere and neither is our customer.